And hello, everyone. It's Karen Lee Love today. Let's have a little love. I'm on live right now on Instagram and here on YouTube. Hi. I wasn't here on Wednesday. I had some family things going on, but I am back today. And I also put out a, a really good video, the 10 most common questions that I receive on YouTube and Instagram and Twitch and every social media platform about dating older women, cougars, whatever you want to call them. Uh, I think that all those questions will be addressed in the last video. So if you haven't had a chance to check it out, please check it out and make sure if you like it to like it, make sure to respond to the video so that uh, it gets some attention. It's already been demonetized, so I won't make any money on it, but at least we'll get a lot of views. I don't know why it was demonetized, but who knows? And in, in YouTube's infinite wisdom, they demonetize everything I put out there. So whatever. Anyway, please give a thumbs up if you're just joining me. Hi there, Kevin. Um, and uh, hi there, all the people here on Instagram. I thought I would just talk about a few things today that have been on my mind. And one of them is I started thinking about why it is that guys are so scared to approach women and mostly the fear of rejection and how to get over the fear of rejection. I'm, I'm in Chicago right now and uh, doing a, a couple hours. Is it a couple hours earlier? I don't know. It's, it's all a mystery. Hey there, my BFF is on here. Hi, Susie. Um, okay, so where were we? we were discussing approaching older women. Older women are more comfortable peeing in front of their lovers. Are older women, that's an interesting question. I don't know, but maybe. Not, and I mean, just remember that not every woman is going to be the same. Pretty much everyone is different. And let's see, Casey, how are you? And let's see, okay, so. What questions do you guys have about approaching older women or is there another topic? I'm 12 and this is scary. Okay, you need to leave. The 12 year old needs to leave because 12 year olds should not be on YouTube on my channel. This is not for 12 year olds. So let's just put this user somewhere else. Okay, there we go. Uh, yes, so where were we? About peeing in front of older women, I don't know. Uh, okay. So I'm currently in Chicago for all, all those of you who don't know that you, 25, 25 year old, you can stay. Uh, anyway, how to know when you're into younger guys? I, I'm not even sure what that question is. Oh, so how do you know if an older woman's approachable and into younger guys? You, I, you don't know, and, and, and she may not even know. Like, I didn't even know that I was into younger guys. I was just that those are the only guys that approached me. Uh, you know, I was like, please be in your 30s. You know what I mean? Uh, I just think that you just have to, if you are into older women, you just have to approach them and act like they're just any other woman and don't be so intimidated by it because it's it's really silly. There's They're much more accepting and understanding than those who are, uh, younger. A lot of times they're not going to be into the whole game playing thing. Last older woman rejected me because I was seen as timid and sweet. Okay. So, uh, so what, what, what does the rejection do to you? Does it make you like devastated or do you just say, okay, I'll go on to the next one. Like my mom always said, like she, when I would ask her about a guy and, and she'd be like, well, this guy didn't like you. So what guys are like a bus. You miss one and you catch another. So I'm going to say that to you. Gee, so what? If she rejected you, does that do you take it personally? No, you don't take it personally. There's a there's a book I always talk about called The Four Agreements. The first uh, agreement is be impeccable to your word. The second is don't assume anything. And the third one, I'm going to skip the third and go to the fourth, which is to always do your best. But the third one is what I want to focus on right now. And just don't take anything personally. Just because someone rejects you does not mean that you need to think they don't have the power to make you feel bad about yourself. So if someone rejects you, it could be as simple as they're in a bad mood or they aren't into younger guys and you'd rather know that sooner than later, or they uh, don't like guys with blonde hair. It could be anything. 
You don't take anything personally, especially if you don't even know the person. Hi from Australia. Hi, Bryson. Oh, so you, so gee, even though you felt a connection to her, does that mean that she felt a connection to you? Just, and again, you, it, you, you are timid and sweet and maybe the next girl wants timid and sweet and that bold and dickish. So don't think that just because this one person wasn't into the, the sensitive kind of guy, which I think there are a lot of them out there. Um, there are sensitive guys out there. And just because she wasn't into it doesn't mean that she is, that she's representative of all women, especially all older ones. Uh, let's see. What do I think about younger guys? I am currently in a relationship with a younger guy for the last 10 years. He's not like in his 20s, but he's younger than me. Uh, I have an amazing eyes. Why, thank you. Uh, let's see. Okay, so what other questions do we have? Do, uh, how about if everybody here would, exp let me know what you think about being rejected. I'd like to know wh what it could do, to why it affects you so much and what you can do to change that because I want you to shift your mindset. I want you to decide today that you're not going to let one person have the power over you, whether it's a boss, coworker, uh, family member, whatever. I don't think you should let them have power over you by getting so deeply hurt because they, whatever reason, were not into you. I mean, it's hard to find a, a perfect connection. It's hard to find any connection. The Wonderlands. Hello again from NASA Marshall Space Center. So some of the younger guys, including myself, want to know, do older women desire relationships at a certain age or just physicalness, aka affection? Another one of the common questions I get is, can you have a relationship with an older woman or is it just sex? And I think absolutely 100% you can have a relationship with an older woman. If it's a huge age, age gap, like I would say like, you know, 30 years or more, okay? It's, it's going to be hard to, to have a relationship because there's just a lot of variables there that may not work. It's possible. But if it's a relationship between, you know, that makes somewhat sense, I mean, it, you, anything is possible. You know, it's, it's all about the mental chemistry more than it is about the physical anyway. You know, sex is great, but when all said and done, the, you know, you're not having sex 24 hours a day, but you are having a relationship 24 hours a day. So you have to have both, and it's certainly viable. I hope that helps you, it, the one that lasts. Uh, and I would love to hear more about what your other friends think over at the NASA Marshall Space Center. Older, okay, Talk of Texas says, older women love that younger buff stud. Hit the gym, fellas. Okay. So our, I'm not going to lie, are older women attracted to younger guys because they are more physically fit than maybe the guys their age? Yeah, I'm not going to lie. And I agree with you on that the talk of Texas. Thank you for all these hearts and, and, and kisses, smiley, David Bowman. Uh, let's see. Me never scared to ask an older woman. Uh, you're never scared? That's cool. Gabe, why don't you tell us why you feel confident about asking older women out? Bad man, do older women like goatees or beards? Okay, let's talk about looks. Um, I think that an older woman could be into anything. It, she could be into a bald guy. She could be into a guy with a goatee, a beard. Um, you know, it's a preference, just like you might like a girl that's short or tall or thin or fat or round or skinny. You know, you really, I, I think it's all about what's inside more than the physical thing. So, yeah. If you've got a goatee or a beard, that might be attractive to one person, but it also may not be attractive to the next person. So it really, I think the most important thing is who you are inside and how you can use whatever gifts you have. If you're funny, if you're smart, or if you are very sensitive, use those gifts to, to let the person who you're talking to know who you are. Bryson, I've been rejected plenty, but it was one time in particular that made me scared to ask another woman out. Bryson, Whatever that was, remember, it's one person and she should not have any power over you. No matter what she did, I know you did, you mentioned before she humiliated you in front of other people and that was a horrible thing for her to do, but it's time to let it go. Uh, again, you need to change your mindset. There's there's like a radio station in your head and you need to switch off that channel and, and just let that go and realize that that was that, that's a, a very sad person who's in, in the long run 
Karma's going to be a bitch to her and she's going to get hurt really badly by somebody, probably worse than what you did, what she did to you. It always ends up that way. Thank you for all these lovely hearts I'm getting on Instagram. And let's see what else we got here. So Bryson, let's, let's really try not to give that person so much power. Um, you know, I, I talk another, another self-help book that I really love lately is the five second rule. And it's by Mel Robbins. Both those books are going to be in the description box here on YouTube. And you can always uh, email me. I'll give you those uh, links as well at Karen at Karen Lee Potter uh, or Karen Lee Potter at gmail.com. Anyway, um, the, the book called The Five Second Rule. And I use it for relationships or for walking up to somebody, uh, especially if you're scared. You have five seconds to introduce yourself to someone before your brain says, oh, don't do it, don't do it. She's going to reject you. She's going to think you're stupid or she's going to think you're silly or she's not going to be into younger guys. You have five seconds to do it. Just do it, even if it's scary. Uh, let's see. Andrew, are there some older women out there who are interested in men who are in their younger 50, 54 years? Andrew, yes, 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 yes. It, you know, again, I always talk about older women, younger men, but they can be the opposite. It could be younger women, older men. You know, I don't believe that age really is a factor. Uh, when I'm talking about older cougars, I'm thinking of confident, older, unique, genuine, assertive, and racy women. Under 25, I'm sorry, you just don't have, the girls don't have the experience. They don't have the, the, um, uh, the maturity that older women do. And for some young guys, that work, works really well because maybe young guys are not interested in being in a relationship. They just want to have like some sort of um, uh, chemistry, fun, companionship. And having someone that's much older than them would alleviate the, them feeling pressured to you know, marry them. Uh, let's see. I'm going to take some Instagram questions. I'll get back to those ones on YouTube in a second. Is it okay to play with a younger swinger couple? I mean, we are mid forties and we got requests from the younger swinger couple. They are in the 20 to 23 year olds. Sure. Why wouldn't you Lisa, Lisa? I think you know the answer to that before you even wrote it. Karen, you stand up. No, thank you. Did you ever get my picture? I, I, I hope it wasn't a dick pic. Uh, thank you for all the compliments. I really appreciate this. Uh, let's see. Any other questions on Instagram before I go? Uh, before I go back. Oh, you're 28. Do I like that age? I I think, you know, it, it all depends. I'm, like I said, I am in a relationship right now. And uh, so I'm not uh, the one to talk to about what, I, you know, what age is good for me. But I think that there is plenty of women out there that are really interested in younger men. And you just kind of have to let them know that you are interested in them. And, you know, again, it's a numbers game. And if you get rejected by one, you cannot take it personally because there are people that are really concerned about the stigma and the stigma being like, oh, I can't be with a younger guy because that would be like, you know, a, what would society think? What would my friends think? I'm going to be judged. What do my parents think? What do my kids think? You know, that's a problem. That's one of the biggest uh, problems that I'll be writing about in my book. Now I, I'm writing a book called The Secrets of Dating Older Women. And uh, in the book, all these things will be addressed. So get ready to purchase that book. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Bryson, one woman's opinion shouldn't define you, brother. Thank you, Talk of Texas. That's what I've been trying to say. Uh, I've started a dating app called Coffee Meets Bagel and I've been talking to some women. Awesome, Bryson. Hopefully that you're going to get some confidence once you start dating other women and you'll let that, that bad rejection thing, that thing will get off your back and you'll be able to just focus on confidence and being happy and positive. Anything that's negative, let's just get rid of it. I know it sounds easy. It's not easy to, it, 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 it may be easy for me to say, and I know it's hard to do, but it'd be worth it. Um, are there some, let's see. Because there are confidence and loving to be taken care of. Oh, Gabe is still talking about uh, why you're not scared. You're saying because you're not scared about meeting older women because you like that they're confident and they and they like to be taken care of. Yeah, I mean, even though an older woman is, seems like she's self-sufficient and independent and all this other stuff, 
doesn't mean she emotionally she wouldn't love to have someone that really cares about her no matter how old they are. And sometimes it, that relationship really is, is a good one because they aren't like jaded by like an ex, like sometimes older men that have been divorced and are like hostile towards women because they lost a lot of money in their divorce with alimony and child support and all that kind of stuff. They just don't have a good attitude about women. And so it's nice to be with a younger guy who does. Uh, Let's see. I'm tired of letting people dictate how I feel about myself. Bryson, good. Yeah, you shouldn't let people dictate how you feel about yourself. So what are you going to do about it? I feel like I have a bright future ahead of me. Uh, Bryson, you do. You absolutely have the brightest future ahead of you. You just got to believe in yourself. Everybody here has to believe in themselves. What's my beauty secret? Thank you, Lisa. Lisa. Uh, it's all that clean living. <laughs> Okay, I'm just, uh, whatever. My beauty secret really is moderation. Everything in moderation. Um, food, exercise, um, drinking, smoking weed, whatever it is, it has to be done in moderation. Thank you very much for answering my questions that I just, that I asked just earlier. Andrew, oh, okay. Did you, oh, you're, you're more than welcome. Do I work out? Absolutely, I work out. I do yoga mostly. I'm um, I'm a yogi these days. I used to work out. I do a lot of spin classes, and then I got into yoga. So I'm more into yoga right now. But um, I'm probably going to incorporate more spinning into my routine again. I think it's always good to shake everything up. If you're just joining and you haven't subscribed on YouTube, please do so. Uh, if you're on Instagram. By the way, I'm going to take a little slight commercial break and tell you that there's a super super funny video that I'm gonna be airing on my channel. And it's when my son, who I do a podcast with called Sex Talk with My Mom and I, he does a, like an at-home sperm test. It's a, it's a kit and, it, and um, all the details will be in the description box below, but basically it's a kit that you could test to see if your sperm are viable. And so you'll know whether or not you, at some point or another, uh, will be able to reproduce. And we did this, the sperm kit. And I wasn't in the room when he was getting the sperm, but afterwards, when he has the sperm, and we put it under the, uh, like almost like a, you put it on your cell phone and you actually see the live sperm, you'll find out if he has sperm or not by going to um, Sex Talk of My Mom. That's the podcast. And it's also on Instagram and YouTube. So I would love it if you guys, if anybody knows, any subgroup on Reddit that would love that, would you help me out and get that video on Reddit? Uh, I'm really could use your help. Are women in their 60s, uh, are, in, are women who are in their 60s are much into sex? Yes, MT, M2, our music. I have plenty of friends. They're in their 50s and 60s, and they're very into sex, maybe more so than ever. You know, there's so many things women are now doing hormonally to keep themselves, you know, more like in a um, mindset and a physical. Uh, way of a much younger person. So absolutely, 60s for sure they're into sex. What is this live stream about? Art Mandalay. It's about spreading the love art. By the way, you guys, I think I am going to change my name to Karen Lee Love since it seemed to win over Karen Lee Live. So it, it's going to be Karen Lee Love for now. I may change it to Karen Lee Live if I feel like that might work better. But what do you guys think about Karen Lee Love or Karen Lee Live? Again, I'll give you an opportunity to weigh in on that one. Uh, twice. Hey, I'm curious about what kind of advice you'd give to guys in their twenties, thirties with erectile dysfunction. That's not caused by medical or physical health. Okay. Twice. Here's what I'm thinking. If you're thinking a lot of guys, um, write to me about having premature ejaculation and, or difficulty just getting hard in general. Um, a lot of problems are caused by porn. I, I am not saying don't watch porn because I like porn, but I am saying like I said before about moderation, moderation is the key. You really, really, really want to be careful about doing too much porn. Because what happens is that porn actually makes you want to come faster. You know, I mean, it, it's it's like you're watching porn. You're like, oh, this is not exciting me enough. I'm going to go to this. Oh, that's not exciting me enough. I have to go to anal. No, I'm not going to go to anal. I'm going to go to gangbangs. And, you know, obviously all that is getting you very excited really fast. So you're teaching your body to come as fast as you can, right? Now, when you're with a woman and you don't want to come too fast, your body's already trained to come too fast. So do you see the problem? So uh, twice, my advice is 
corn in very, very, very small doses, especially if you find that you are getting addicted to it. Some people get really compulsive about it. It is a highly, highly, highly addictive drug-like thing. Um, so just be careful. As much as I love, you know, some I have one of my very closest friends is a porn star, Nina Hartley. And I think she'd tell you the same thing. You just got to be careful. Hey there, Ravi. Do you go on Reddit? Art, I, I have tried to go on Reddit. And that's what I'm saying. If anybody can help me with getting my sex talk with my mom video on Reddit, please email me at Karen at KarenLeePoter.com or KarenLeePoter at gmail.com and help me out here because I really could use the help on Reddit. I, re I think that this video is super funny. And another video we did, which was the Clone of Willie video, was super funny. So we've got some real funny content that I'd love to get on Reddit. And it's just, I don't know how to do it. I'm just between YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, and Reddit. I, I just, you know, I can't keep up with everything. And I just basically sticking right now with the YouTube and Instagram. So if you haven't joined me on Instagram, please do. And if you haven't joined me on YouTube, please do. And give thumbs up to everything. But again, I would love if anybody could help me out with the Reddit situation because, like I said, it's it's a great vent. I mean, it's a great uh, place for these videos because they're super funny and edgy. And and if anybody knows anybody at like Bro Bible, any of those kind of places, uh, we'd love to get it in front of them. Uh, what else? That ad. I don't know what that means. Uh, pretty cheekbones. Well, thank you, Ellen. Do I have any tattoos? Thank you, David, by the way. Uh, I don't have tattoos. Uh, hey there, Georgie. How you doing? I don't have tattoos. I um, I would love to get a tattoo, but my problem with tattoos are that you really shouldn't put them in the sun, and I don't want to worry about it. So I'd have to put it somewhere. You guys can vote where I should put it <laughs> and what it should be. Let's see. The sperm test video was hilarious and awkward at times. Thank you, Bryson. Uh, it was, that's why we did it. It's you guys got to watch the sperm test video. And I think I'm going to put it on you, my YouTube channel here at Karen Lee love, uh, soon. What's the difference between I love and I like you it, it, for you as a couple just asking, thank you. Hmm. Oh, maybe what is the difference between I love and I like you? Well, Dar, that's a tough question. Uh, Hmm. I think there is a big difference, but it's a feeling. It's a feeling of connection and it's a feeling of just, um, it's something very special that I think you all, only you will know. I can't really answer that. That's a great question though. If anybody else has a difference between loving and liking, go ahead and let, let Dara know. Zach, you liked love more. Oh, maybe you're asking about love and, and live. Uh, oh, here you go. I'm 54. My girlfriend's 67. And oh my, there you go. Alan, does she still love sex? Uh, whoops. Sorry about that. Core connection. Um, Zach, you do moderation too. You love Nina Harley. Karen, let's see what's going on here. YouTube is violating my freedom of speech by taking down my videos. I agree. I'm not going to stand up. I don't see why I need to. I'm not a and webcam girl, as far as I know. Uh, oh, what? You're asking about the difference between love and live? I, okay, so love is like I'm spreading the love. Live means that I do live videos, but I also do pre-filmed videos, so that's a difference. Or were you talking about how do you know if you love someone versus if you just like them? That's a tough question, too, so... All right. Hi, Sam. Let's see. Josh. Hey, Karen. Thanks to you. I got my older rich lady. Thanks, Dal. Josh, what, what did you, what in particular helped you? I love it when you speak, you sexy thing you. Thank you, big, big city apple. This is how you fit uh, here. How fit you are for a cougar. Uh, let's see. All right. Uh, I got to get going. It's, I've got literally five minutes left of uh, this live stream. So if you guys have some questions, now's your chance. Now's at five, four, three, two, one, ask the question and go for it. You know, if you've got a question that you've been dying to ask, just, this is a good the opportunity to practice not being shy. Okay. 
I know that there's more people on here that are asking that want their questions asked. So go ahead and ask. Let's see. Oh, put out more videos. Okay, I will put out more videos. Any other questions here before I go? Because I'm going to go in five, four, three, two, one, quick. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to miss out on anybody here. You're shy, big city apple. Something tells me that you're not shy. Stop labeling you guys. Work on this task for the weekend. Stop labeling yourself as shy. And remember my post-it note idea. Put a post-it note every day. Uh, and one great thing about yourself, just one positive thing about yourself, put it on a wall and check it out and make sure that you look at that all the time. And remember your strengths. Uh, Josh, okay, you'll explain next time. All right, so if there's no other questions, I'm going to say bye. So if you want to reach me, uh, the best way to do individual uh Okay, so Sam, if you've got a weird question and you want to reach me, the best way is to join my Patreon page. It's a way that you can support all creators, especially, you know, since YouTube has demonetized everything. So what you need to do is go to patreon.com slash Karen Lee, that would be me, and sign up. And you can mess message me back and forth, back and forth, literally for as little as, I think, $5 a month. Literally. is That's like the best $5 you'll have spend to be able to message me back and forth confidentially. Go to patreon.com slash Karen Lee and join me there. Obviously, I'd prefer you join at a higher level, but if you if you join at the lower levels, that's cool. I will still take care of you. Sam, you're on my Patreon, then why are you not messaging me? <laughs> I, you know what, unfortunately, my patrons, like I have tons of different screen names and names and I can't keep track of everybody. But if you're on there, Sam, you should be messaging me and taking advantage of that because it's a great way to um, get individual advice. Bye. I hope you guys have a great weekend. And don't forget to like this video if you're watching this later on and subscribe. Because uh, if you do, then you'll get notifications for the next time I'm live. And I hope to see you all very soon. Bye bye. Bye, Natalie. And uh, everyone here on Instagram, I'm going to say goodbye to you guys first. Goodbye. And goodbye to you guys. Hi there, Doug. And uh, hope to see you guys next week. In the meantime, find me on these other streams. I do Instagram stories all the time. Mr. Pyrobrain, you missed me this time, but we'll catch you next time. Love you.